Good afternoon, class. Uh, this is my presentation on hard drive, the basic, uh, the device that stores basically pretty much everything, whether it's um, pictures, music, videos, documents, um, computer programs, applications, everything that you need to have your computer function, it's all stored in the hard drive. So let's go into what makes this hard drive um, tick. We'll discuss, we'll go through the basic components inside the hard drive and what it takes to um, install it. Let's begin. First off, what is a hard drive? The hard drive is electromechanical data storage device that stores and retrieves digital data using magnetic storage and one of more rigid, rapid, um, rapidly rotating platters. They basically code it with magnetic material. The platters are paired with magnetic heads, which usually arrange on a moving act. Um, actual arm, which, which the read and write data to the platter surface. Now the data is assessed in a random access uh, manner that the individual blocks of data can be stored and retrieved in any order. Now, they are a type of non-volatile storage retaining stored data even when the computer is powered off. Modern hard drives are typically formed in like a small rectangular box. Now, the hard drive is introduced by IBM back in 1956. They were a dominant secondary storage device for basic general computers beginning in the early 1960s. They maintained this position into the modern era of servers and personnel computers through personnel computing devices produced in large volume like cell phones, tablets. And now they often now they rely on flash memory storage devices. More than 224 companies have produced hard drive disks through extensive industries consolidations, and most units are manu manufactured by Seagate, Toshiba and possibly, and also Western Digital. This is how the hard drive, this is a picture of the hard drive and this is how it looks inside. Each label, each part, it plays a valuable role into the hard drive. Now its main components of the hard drive is number one, the disc plater, the two, the stepper molder, three spindle molder, and the read and write head arm. The disc platter is a component within a mass storage device that can stores the binary data, uh, which is later on the surface. Now the data is stored within the layers using a principle called the perpendicular vertical recording. Now, the stepper motor, now it's, um, the hard drive used this stepper motor for controlling read, write, head position. They usually use 12, uh, positive 12 um, voltage, voltage power, but some new low power, um, but new, new low drives uses probably like a positive five voltage power source, okay? The spindle is a high precision, reliable electric motor that is used to rotate the shaft or the spindle, which is right here, right here, later um, in the middle. Most hard drive disc um, spin, I mean spindle motors spin the platters 
at a constant rate ranging from 3,600 to 7,200 RPMs. Now the platter is very thin, high precision aluminum, or like a glass disc that's coated on both sides and which is used in the, in the, in the disc to store data. Modern hard drives are mounted on a single shaft in order to maximize the data storage surface in a given volume of space. Now, all, all hard drive spindle motors are configured for direct driving of the platters. Now, that is the rotating shaft of the motor and the shaft on which the platters are mounted is a single integral unit, okay? This also contracts to the electric motors, which, which use gears or belts to transfer and modify their output. The reed right head is a specific physical part. Now, this is it right here. The, um, the reed, okay. This represents up top, this is the reed and right head. This one is the arm right here. Now it has a, as I mentioned, it's a specific physical part of a um, hard disk that is responsible for reading data fr um, from and writing data to the disk. Now the read write heads are typically made up of a thin horizontal magnetic blade attached to the article, uh, arti um, article, I'm sorry, the atrical arm, please forgive me for mispronouncing that word. By changing the electrical polarity of bits on a magnetic disk, now the read write arm effectively records data to the hard drive, to the disk drive. This is how the disk, this is the diagram of how the structure of, of the structure of the disk. Uh, you have the track, the sector, the cylinder, and the storage capacity. Okay, let's start off with the track. Now, the hard drive is divided into number of concentric um, circles, a circular path, which is called the tracks. And you can see it's like it divided up to several layers. So I guess this is part, part A, part B, and this part is part C. Now the sector stores a fixed amount of user accessible data, um, usually around 500, um, 512 bytes for a hard, drive, a hard disk drive and, 20, and 200, 2,048 2, uh, 2, bytes for CD-ROM and DVD-ROMs. Now the newer use 4,900 96 bytes, which are known as advanced formats, which is AF. The sector in the, is the minimum storage unit of the hard drive. You can see this is the sector right here. The cylinder, by shown with this um, diagram, the blue on uh, the blue model diagram. Now. It, it sets any of all the tracks of an equal diameter in the hard disk drive. It can be visualized as a single imaginary circle that cuts through all of its platters and, uh, and both at each size in the drive. Now, as a large hard disk, okay, I've come into use, a cylinder has become like a logical disk with old with an old bio, with a BIOS limit of 1024 cylinders and the ATA limit of 16 heads the combined effort effect was 1024 by 16 by 63 which is uh which is um 1 million sectors now, and also a 504 megabyte limit for the sector, the size is 512. The storage capacity, uh, the hard drive capacity, 
basically, I think the highest you can probably go is probably 12 terabytes, which is by far the highest terabytes is the highest as you can go. Um, this is this is basically a chart that represents like if it's um if the com if your hard drive capacity is up to 16 gigabytes, that means that's the equivalent to you got 4,000 songs. That's a lot of songs. Uh, and 3,200 pictures. That's a lot of pictures as well, too. As, as you can see, as it increases, let's just say like the highest, like 500 gigabytes. So that's like, that's over 125,000 songs. Hmm. That should be at least a catalog. If That should be at least a catalog of various artists, if you ask me, or maybe artists or two. Um, over 100,000 di um, digital pi um, pictures. Now let's go over to terabytes, which is, I would say, 12 terabytes. Hmm. That's like 3 million songs. Now that's a lot. And that's up to, what, 2 million 400,000, yeah, 400,000 pictures. That's how much it can, that's how much it can store. Now the partition for the hard disk drive, the hard drive, like um, let's go, we'll start from the primary partition. They can be used to boot the operating system. Now Windows OS must be located in a primary partition. Now the extended partition, a hard disk drive may contain only one extended partition and it can be subdivided into multiple logical partitions. Uh, the, large, um, the logical partition like the Linux operation system can be installed into and run from. The active partition, only the partition on a computer can be set in the active partition or a bootable partition. If a person is using Microsoft Windows, that contain Windows is the active partition. Now the file systems in the hard drive, you got two of them uh, with the FAT and the NTFS. Now, that's in the, yeah, Macs run with the, um, and also Windows run with the NTF, uh, the NTFS. Now, let's start off with, let's start off with the um, FAT uh, file system. It's not secure. The max size is about up to 32 gigabytes. It does not support any data comparison and it does not support disk quota. So Windows OS probably like from around from uh, with Windows from 95 to 98, that's their um, capacity, uh, their um, capacity, conformality, I'm sorry. Okay, now the NTFS, um, it's not um, it's not secure. Uh, it's not secure either. But one max is one terabyte. It does support data comparison. It supports also support the disk quota. Windows OS, Mac operating system OS, they had the conform. Um, it's conformality. Uh, even from like Windows two thousand XP, Windows Vista, and Windows seven. Compatible. Compatible, compatible, excuse me. Now the interfaces of a hard drive, you got two right, we get, we're gonna look at three of them. So we have the integrated device electronics, SATA, serial advanced technology attachment, and the small computer system, which is SCSI. Right here to your right, you can see models of two of them, and you can see where the power connector and the data connector is connected to the drive. And which basically, with the power cords, you can that can that will be their that will be their connection to the computer motherboard. 
Let's start off with the integrated device. Um, Par, uh, in, was integrated device electronics or the parallel advanced technology known or PATA. Now it has like a 40 pin connector. The data transfer rate is up to 133 MBBS. Now, once this is installed, uh, this type of hard drive ensure that the jumpers are correctly configured. Um, configured. If you have two devices, that are connected to the IDE controller, one must be set to master and the other must be set to slave. Now you got this connector here below and here are the jumper pins. And this is like the overall look, overall view of how it looks. Um, you got two versions. You got one, this is how this will look when you install it into a hard drive a hard, like a hard drive desktop computer. And this is how it'll look when you use it into like a laptop hard drive right there. Now the serial advanced technology and, um, attachment, also a SATA. Now it has like a seven pin connector. Uh, it has the latest high speed type of hard drive connectors. Um, data rate is 300, is 300 megabytes, very fast than the old IDE interface. The latest hard drives are using this interface right now. Here's a model of it, of how it can be installed. Now, this is this model is basically equivalent to maybe like a um, Windows, like a um, Dell tower or yeah, like a Dell PC tower. And underneath there is the um, underneath there is um, the installment for the hard drive. If you can look at the SATA cable, it connects into the SATA host adapter, which is connects into the motherboard. The other one inside they have like a jumper block, which I think I believe this is inside of this adapter, and also the SATA interface cables along with the power adapter cable so um it's very easy now i have uh, now other computers based on like if you have like um let's just say with the expansion bus they have like a connector they have like a connect a hard drive connector where all you have to do is basically um along if it has like the correct pins all you got to do is just install it in there and then um and then turn on your computer so it can so it can be rebooted. Now the small computer system interface. Now it has fifty or sixty eight pin connectors. The data transfer rate is well up to six hundred uh, six hundred megabytes. These require a SCSSI adapter card. Now they're they're basically connected to the um, into the system. Most desktop computers did not use uh, the SCSI. Okay, and basically that um complete and that will conclude my presentation for the hard drive. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.